right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to part two as we thank the Most High for so much and give our Heavenly Father all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. This title says, Can RH Negative People Be Saved? Part two. I know yesterday was rough. That video was rough. It was tough. It went over a lot of people's head. And then it was hard for a lot of people to accept that type of teaching. And I got a lot of emails um, with questions on top of questions. And even me and my mom spoke earlier about a good hour on the phone. Shout out to my mom, JT, Mama JT. And Mama said, after looking at that video, it hit us so hard. She was like, I don't even want to know what my blood type is. She said, I don't even know what it is and don't want to know. And I don't know what your dad is and don't want to know. Because as we were talking about, stuff like this brought up even in their generation. Nobody was talking about this kind of stuff. You know, and then we wonder why, even in the old days, they always, always tell us, check out who you're dating because you might be related to them. You know, but there was a lot of confusion from that video. A lot of people took in a lot of confusion that I want to straighten up. And it's part two. So if you haven't seen part one, this video here will not make sense to you. You know, I know that, that video scared a lot of people. I had a lot of questions. And this is one of them. Can people with all these negative truly be saved and go to heaven? And I will deal with that answer in this video in a little bit. But first, I want to um, address this one question. Because brother said, I am RH negative, but I don't have the symptoms like a lot of people. I'm never sick, and my health is pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm glad you said that, because I want to uh, tell you this in this part, too. RH negative from studying is not always a sickness and it don't always affect people's health the same way reason number one is because everybody's different you know everybody body don't react the same way you got some people older than others you got some people younger than others so it may not affect you like it affects that woman or the next man but what it does affect this is what i want to tell you if you never studied on this it affects a lot of pregnant women. You can do the research on that if you think I'm lying. So this is the answer to your question, yeah. But it affects a lot of pregnant women. Because if that woman is pregnant, she's negative, and then that baby is RH positive, it causes a lot of problems. That's why a lot of women that's RH negative, they have a lot of complications, you know, with birth. Because of the blood and, and, and how it's not compatible a lot of times. Now, I want to address this other question before I move uh, forward. With JT, I was born in sin, shaped in iniquity, like the Bible say. So I mean, I'm born in RH. I don't have a chance to make it in heaven. I'm already doomed. Glad you said that too. Because I want to rightly divide the word. So since you talked about that scripture, my brother, you know who you are. Let's go to it. Give me one second. Because you're talking about Psalms 51 and 5. Let's read it. Psalms 51 and verse 5 says, Behold, I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. My mama just talked about this scripture. My mother conceived me. I was what? Shaping in iniquity. So what's the argument you hear? The Bible says we are born in the sin. Here's the argument. Well, babies are innocent. So JT, is the Bible contradicting itself? Because babies are innocent. They don't know nothing. They haven't even been born yet. They in the womb. Glad you asked. So this is why it's so important to understand what you read. 
and rightly divided. So if you take a great look at this scripture, this is King David. What David was showing us, he was saying that he was he was talking about the sin nature, the sinful nature. He wasn't saying a baby was full of sin, like a lot of people think. He was saying he was a sinner by nature born, which is why we all are in the flesh. Teach all this spirit. We all have something wrong with us. We all are works in progress. Remember Christ said, call no man good but the Father. Remember Paul said, there is no good in me, O wretched man that I am, but the Holy Spirit that's inside of me. Sinful nature. Why? How do, how do we know? Back, go back to Adam. We all are suffering because of Adam. And what happened in the garden? We know the story. I don't blame, I don't put the blame on Eve like a lot of men. And it was me. Now, who was her before Eve? Who was put in charge? Who had dominion over everything? Who had the authority? Adam. That's why the most top charged Adam up. And what did Adam do? He played the blame game and said, it was this woman you gave me. But we'll talk about that another time. But we all are reaping that because of sin. So that's why it's so important to operate in the spirit and not in the flesh. As the Bible says, the flesh is weak. Now, now, now that we clear that scripture up. Now, if you add that with Romans, Romans said, for we all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. Think about that. Then think about this. You got people that willfully sin. You got people that's born again. And you got people out here that just don't care what they're doing and they lost. So I know that teaching yesterday confused a lot of people, but I'm so glad y'all could tune in to this part too. But with that teaching on yesterday, you must understand also predestination. Another teaching people don't like. I'm not talking about everybody. And if you want to see the video I've done on predestination, it's on here. Some are predestined, but everybody wasn't predestined. Now, first of all, you have no control over your blood type being what it was. <laughs> I want to talk to my sister. You know who you are now because you was leaving the comments saying I'm RH negative and I don't understand what you're saying because I'm a believer and these things really don't apply to me. I don't feel this. I don't act that way. I'm so glad you said that. That's why this part two is here. A lot of people after that video, they, they was thinking I was saying they're going to the lake of fire. No. I'm going to explain all of that in this part two. You don't even ask to be here. But your parents or whoever got together, <laughs> Cause everybody wasn't married, you know, some or sleeping around. However, you got here, I'm gonna leave that alone. But they got together. But you are not responsible for what they what they blood type is. Okay. Now to my brother, you asked me, do I believe all people with RH negative is going to the lake of fire? No. I know that video was rough. And it's only a few people that caught that video yesterday, and uh, Tracy was one of them. She's because she said when you break it down and get to the finish line, all you were talking about was the fallen angels. Correct. I never said in that video that everybody with RH negative is going to the lake of fire. That's putting words in my mouth. And I went and double checked because I done watched it two times already. But you can call yourself whatever you want, just like a, just like all Christians will not see heaven. Teach all the spirit. Why? Because you got people that claim to be Christians, but they living like devils with no repentance. It's all about your heart. So to also truly understand what I was saying, remember the video I did on what I called that video, Psalm was born, Psalm was created. 
just like the fallen angels. The fallen angels didn't come through the womb of a mother like you and I did. They were created. That's why they hate man so much. Why do you think Satan hates man so much? Because we have a chance to be in the kingdom, but the fallen angels will never inherit the kingdom. They blew it. They cannot be born again, teach Holy Spirit. So since they were created, they started creating their own. Look, what, like, what did you say, dinosaurs? That's why the most I killed all those dinosaurs. I was just telling my mom, that's why when you look at an alligator and look at them dinosaurs, they got the alligator face and funny looking body, or look like a, a kangaroo mixed with a, with a turtle, or I don't know what they mixed with. But I know the most I destroyed them, and they did exist because the proof is in the pudding. The proof had been around for years. The bones was around. They had all that proof. So they were created. That's why I said if you don't believe in the cloning, you won't understand this video either. You don't think they have the technology to truly clone people or clone an animal. Yes. What you think is not going on, been going on, but you probably just haven't saw it yet. Or when you do see it, you think it just came out and it's new, but in reality, it's been around a long time. Now, back to my sister. You know who you are. That's why I say, please watch this part two. I know that video, it, it, it just, it, it, you didn't understand it. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. But I'm going to help you understand more with this. Because you said you was RH negative. And you was a believer. But you didn't act like what I was talking about. Now, this is what I want to tell you. Your negative blood type doesn't make you a demon. I hope you catch that first. Now, you got this ongoing debate about do you really inherit more genes from your mama or your daddy? A lot of studies say most of the genes you inherit come from your dad. But then you got another ongoing study saying most of them come from the mom. Who was, who was right? And then you got another study that say it's 50 and 50 on both sides. 50% comes from your mom and 50% comes from your daddy. Which one is correct? Think about it. Now, as my mom stated earlier, she mentioned the blood cells when we were talking on the phone. The protein that's on the surface of your blood cells. This is what I want to tell you, my sister. I'm answering your questions slowly. And that's why I'm taking my time. Slowly am I answering this. Lacking that protein on the surface of your blood cells do not make you a hybrid. Okay? I hope and pray that answer your question. Now, moving on to my other questions. That's why I got my screen up here. I'm answering most of them as I can. Then you got my brothers and sisters out here with this. Okay, I heard everything you said in part one, JT, but we are cursed. That's why we don't have no chance. We cursed. We being punished for our father's sins. I'm so glad you said that too. You know who you are. Let me break this down for you. See, this is the danger of reading and stopping. You got to study. You got to investigate. You're talking about Exodus 20. So let me pull that one up. Give me one second. Exodus 20 and 5 says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children into the what? Third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And notice at the end he said that hate me. Catch this. Third and fourth 
generation. What generation are we in now? Hmm. I'll let you answer that. And what he was talking about in that scripture was the sin of idolatry. But notice he said until the third and fourth generation. Now, let me show you in scripture why that's over and done with. And why when Christ got on the cross and said, it is finished because he was the ultimate sacrifice and he paved the way for all of us. Get your Bible and go to Ezekiel 18 and 20. Let me back up what I'm saying and to correct you out of love in a good way on this third and fourth generation. Ezekiel 18 and 20. Here we go. It says that the soul that sent it, it shall die. Here we go. Pay attention. The son shall not. Look at that little word not in there. I'm going to read it slow. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. There's the scripture that shows you you are no longer up under that. Because he just said, you as the son will not bear the iniquity of your father. And neither shall your father bear the iniquity of you as the son. In other words, whatever my daddy done, my daddy got to give an account for his own life. I'm not held responsible for how and what my dad done. Neither from whatever I've done, my sins, he's not responsible for, for, for me. Because why does the Bible tell us we got to each work out our own salvation, come on, teach Holy Spirit, with fear and trembling. I can't pray my daddy into heaven. My daddy can't pray me into heaven. My daddy can't fight for my own, for my salvation. So the word, as the Bible teaches us, have to be rightly divided. You, you got to get past the proof text theology. What's proof text theology, uh, JT? When people take one scripture, one or two scriptures, to prove their point without rightly dividing the word. You got to keep reading. You got to understand this Bible, this book is so full of answers that a lot of people just miss. You got Jews and Gentiles. The Bible also says Jews and Gentiles will be saved. So it don't even matter what your blood type is if you look at it in that sense. If you're willing to accept Christ is your personal savior. Fall down and repent and confess. And ask for that new life. Be born again. It don't matter if you had RH negative or you was O positive. Because the creator who created you has already promised you eternal life. Oh, my sister, I hope that answers your question. But yes, salvation came through the Jew first. Because we as Jews are the chosen. But, but, but back to what I was saying about these demons and this DNA thing, the, that's why you, think, why you think demons always need a body. They can't do nothing without a body. And they need an invitation. How does that invitation happen? Through drinking, getting drunk. Let me say it like that. Because drinking is not the same drunkenness is. Through drugs, through fornication, etc., etc., so once those demons get an invitation to come on in, they finna do their work. And then when you sleep around and transfer that DNA, once you release it inside of her, fellas, she has now became you. When you release it inside of somebody, a lot of people think they just had sex, they gonna go on about their business, and then they wonder why they can't break them soul ties. Come on, teach Holy Spirit. It's more than what you think when you're laying around. 
It has a hold on you. It's spirits in that. But you can tell a lot of people that, and they're just, I hear you, bro. But I gotta be me. So when you go back to Adam, what we truly inherit what we truly inherit was death. But to understand what I'm saying, death equals eternal life. A lot of people ask me, JT, why didn't Adam die right away when he broke fellowship, broke relationship with the Most High? The Bible said the wages of sin is death. Adam sinned and kept living. He died at, what was it, 939 years old, if I'm not mistaken. But see, that's what the carnal mind thinks and look at. Spiritually, according to the Most High, Adam didn't even really live a day. To me, Adam not only died spiritually, but he died physically. Why would I say that? What did what the Most High tell us? Each day is like a thousand years. One day to the Most High is like a thousand years. A thousand. So if Adam died at 939, even the oldest man, Methuselah, didn't even make a thousand. Who can you name in the Bible that lived a thousand years? See, that's the time frame in the most times, I say. But we say, well, he lived a long time. But in the eyes of the most time, did he really even live a day? See, we all going to die one day. But we are promised eternal life. Now, to answer the other questions about this RHID, what about the people that never knew their parents? Hmm. A lot of people gave their child up. Some was, was adopted. So, if you never knew your parents, you never knew what their DNA was. You never knew what they what their blood was, their blood type was. You see where I'm going with this also? You don't know what the daddy had. But one thing you should realize is that the enemy wants to use the DNA. Why would I say that also? They want to alter our minds. They've been programming us long enough. Most people don't understand the system of programming. How the TV programs your mind. TV. Television. We never caught that growing up. Television. Look how it's spelled. Television. But break it down slowly. Tell your vision to watch this. Believe this. Follow this. Look at this. Be like this. Tell your vision. That's why it's not good to sit in front of the TV all day. You will become what you're looking at if you're not careful. Because you'll be in program. Look at how look. Look at how these, these toddlers are glued to the notepads and the iPads and the phones now. Two, three years old and know how to work, work the phone better than you. But let me leave that alone. The most high is spirit. But being spirit, and those who worship him must do what? Worship him in spirit and in truth. He took on the form of a man in flesh. He was all divine and all man at the same time. That's another reason why they use the term, the son, uh, the name, the son of man. Son, he was the son of Joseph, son of Mary. But let me take it back to the two angels. I got to go back to Sodom and Gomorrah for a moment. This is how you watch these angels. 
because you got the most high's angels, which is the good ones. Then you got these demons out here, these fallen ones. Well, remember when they came down to visit Abraham, the cry out in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah was so deep that he sent them to them two angels in the form of men. Kind of like how Denzel Washington was on that movie with Whitney Houston, uh, Preacher's Wife. So you remember that movie. But those wicked ones in that city wanted to rape not only all the men in the city, but they wanted to rape the two male angels. See, a lot of people teach Sodom and Gomorrah all the way backwards. They'll say God destroyed it because of homosexuality. That could have been a part of what was going on, but that ain't what the Bible is saying. What the Bible is showing you is, 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 is rape. Gang rape. It was so bad that Lot offered his two daughters. Why do you think you have the name Sodom? Or where do you think the word sodomy comes from? Or the word sodomize? Raping. Anal sex. Men with men. Wickedness. Abomination. That's wicked. Why am I saying that? Because I want to ask you a question. Do you believe everybody that was in? Oh, teach Holy Spirit. Why, why, why you couldn't find 50 righteous, 40 righteous, 30 righteous, 20 righteous, 10 righteous? Why did he destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Well, the people that are all the way human are not. <laughs> what was their blood type? Another scripture that sticks out that you must understand, Hebrews 13 and 2, where it says people don't know they have been entertained by angels. I'm scared, but let me say that right. You never know you might be entertained in an angel and you're unaware of it. Hmm, what kind of angel? See, it's, it's important. The Bible is so deep. It's, it's little stuff we miss. What are you entertaining? Hmm. Remember, the most high have holy angels. The devil have the demonic angels. But the thing is, angels can take on many shapes in many different forms. Kind of like I was saying about this, you know, how he played that angel in the male form of he, he was in he was a male man, you know, in that in that movie Preacher's Wife. But the fallen angels have been here. Do you think they left? And if you think they left, tell me when did they leave? Because to me they ain't never left. I'm going to tell you something. It's only a few people going to catch this. And you have to have the spiritual understanding to catch this, what I'm about to say, because it's going to fly over most people's head because it's deep. These wicked ones know who you are. With your spiritual discernment, I know Brother Rodney going to catch this. You recognize them. But then right away, they recognize you. They are very intelligent. And once you lock eyes with them, they keep their eyes on you. All the time. They know who you are. But you have something that's in you that's stronger and overpowers them if you use it correctly. What's that, JT? The Holy Spirit. That's why I'm getting so tired of people emailing me about all this gang stalking. And, and they, 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 they wearing me down. Man, you got power. I'm, I'm going to tell you something I learned years ago. If you let the devil beat you down, that's your fault. It ain't the most high fault. Because he has given us everything that we need to defeat the devil with. 
We have power over them. If we don't, what they say about the one we serve? That's why he didn't give me little faith. He didn't give me a little bit of Jesus, like people say. He gave us all. He gave us his all, his best, his only unique begotten son. We have power over them. But we have free will in this life. So to my sister, once again, what do we have to do? What's the key? You got to repent. You got to repent. You got to have a change of heart. You got to renew your mind. You got people that willfully sin once again. And then you got those who fight against sin, who are truly sorry when they slip up. Now, I can't teach this without going into this. What about a reprobated mind? Mm. They have been turned over. Because they have truly, truly rejected the Most High. Can they be saved? I'm going to let y'all answer that one. Can a person with a reprobated mind, excuse me, reprobated mind be saved? Some may pronounce it reprobated however you want to pronounce it. But can a person with a reprobated mind be saved? Remember what he says about a reprobated mind. They reject him. They don't want to retain his knowledge. Let's go to it. I think there's uh, Romans 1 and 28. Give me one second. There we go. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobated mind to do those things which are not convenient. Not convenient. Listen to what he says. What is they blood type? <laughs> they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. God gave them over to a reprobated mind to do the things which are not convenient. Now I'm going to ask you again, can a reprobated mind person be saved? He gave them over to that mindset for the destruction of their flesh. Think about that. Reprobated is used at least seven times in the Bible. You see it in Jeremiah 6, Romans, Corinthians, Timothy, Titus. But it's also related to the word reprove. You notice the Bible used the word reprove. Teach. Reproof. Which means to test. Well, how do you break that down? Test the spirits by the spirit to see if they have God. If you catch what I'm doing in this video, <laughs> this is way deeper than what your blood type is. We passed the blood type now. If you catch what I'm talking about, we're dealing with the heart. So regardless of your blood type, how is your heart? Bible said they profess that they know God, but in works they deny him. Now here's the question also. We finna do a, 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 another examination after this, after, after this video here. What did I truly inherit from my mom? What did I inherit from my dad? Or for some of y'all, is what did I inherit from my mom? I don't even know my dad. And I'm not saying that to be funny. It's just true. 
It's facts because there's a lot of single moms out there. It's a lot of it's a lot of children never knew their dad, and then it's some that knew their dad, and their dad locked up, or their dad dad done passed away. Whatever the situation is, but what did you inherit from your mama? Attitude, <laughs> her ways. What did you inherit from your dad? What is it? Hmm. Did you get angry like your daddy? You remember back in the day. A lot of women, when they were fussing, they child, they said, don't you look like that? Because you, you just look like your daddy when you look like that. You sound like your daddy. You acting like your daddy. What did you inherit from your daddy? All the bad habits. See, you can choose to live like your mama did or your, or your daddy did. That's your choice. Or, as me and my mom was talking about on the phone, you have to break the cycle. You got to break it. As me and mama JT was talking about earlier, before we was born, I don't know mama, you don't mind me sharing this. Before we was born, my mama said she prayed so hard over us not to be like my daddy's brothers, my daddy's daddy, which is my grandpa. Because my grandpa, my daddy's dad, my daddy would tell me when we talked, he was a murderer. He was a bad man. My daddy told me that his daddy was the devil. The looks that he had on his face. How he would shoot people. My daddy once told me when he was little, out in the field, he was hiding behind a car. He actually watched his daddy kill this man and bury him in the ground. Back down in Louisiana, back in the day, he could get away with that kind of stuff back then. He was ruthless. He was, he was a rough dude. He went to prison. He got out of prison. And mama said, I pray that y'all would have them spirits. My other uncle, which is my daddy brother, gone down, lost his leg. Trying to be a gangster. All the drinking, the drunkenness. My other uncle did drugs. My other uncle sold drugs. So the spirit that was in them, my mama prayed hard that it didn't fall in us and that we wouldn't wind up being like that. And I mean this with no disrespect toward none of my uncles, but the truth is the truth. I love them. Both of them I'm talking about, they dead and gone. And drugs pretty much took a lot of my uncle Jerry out. When you think about that, what I just said, it should ask you. I mean, it should make you see once again, what did you inherit from your mom? You got good mothers, bad mothers. Good fathers, terrible men, and there was that never even was on the scene not once, and he wasn't even around the body, little ball pair of shoes. Sad. When you think about this, all men inherit a Y chromosome from their father. That's what Jay inherits from me. And all of us as fathers, we pass down that Y chromosome to our sons. Now, I was just reading something earlier that was very interesting to me. Because it said that eight traits, eight of them, you inherit from your father. Which is the height, the dental, the dimples. The toes, fingers, mental disorders, and handedness, which is meaning whether you're going to be right-handed or left-handed. And I thought about that, and I look at my son, because Jay is getting very tall. Jay going to be taller than me. I got a brother that's 6'4". I'm 6'1". Then I can look at him. I'm looking up when I'm talking to my big brother. 
But Jay is getting tall. I look at Jay. I look at his dimples. I look at his height. I look at them legs, them feet, <laughs> them toes. And then I look at his spirit. He got a wonderful personality. But then it's a side of Jay. He's tricky. He's conniving. He's slick. So a lot of us sometimes we don't want to admit what we're looking at is us. I can look back over my life with some of the things I'm done, and then when he do it, I just have to laugh and be like, I did the same thing. But Jay, as he get older, is gonna have to make his own decisions. Now let me move on. I'm about, I'm about to wrap this video up. There is a scripture. Well, I should say scripture is I want to close out with. And I want to go back to Nicodemus. The questions that he had. And to my sister, I forget your screen name. If this answer right here don't answer your question, I don't know what else to tell you. Because I'm going to be through after I answer this question. And I can't answer, answer it without going back going back to John chapter 3, verses 3 through 7. This is when our Savior was teaching Nicodemus. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, mm, he what? Cannot see the kingdom of God. Except the man be born again. Let me keep reading. And then Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? How can he enter the, the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except the man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Do you see your answer in there? So even if you got a RH negative, if you are born again. Notice I'm, I'm, I'm putting emphasis on that. Born again. You got heaven. So remember what I said in part one. Then remember this right here in part two. Regardless of what your blood type is. If you are born again. There's salvation. See, Nicodemus was only looking at the physical birth. That's why he asked the question. How can a man enter his, his mother's womb a, a second time? He can't. So catch this. Fallen angels didn't come from the womb. They were created. They weren't born of the water. And they surely weren't born of the Holy Spirit. They was born of the demonic spirit. Teach Holy Spirit. That's why the Bible says he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You have to be, accept the man, be born of the water and of the spirit. When you are in your mother's womb, I remember when Jay came out of Didi, it was so much water around, so much fluid around him. That's the water right there. But see, it's, it's, it's more than a, a physical birth. He was trying to get us to understand you got to be born again. Or some may use the term born from above. So notice that. Teach Holy Spirit. Water and of the Spirit.
Fallen angels can't do that. That's another reason why he said, you will not see heaven. Let me, let, me, let me say it the right way. They were saying, Lord, Lord, in Matthew 7, didn't we not prophesy in our name? Didn't we not cast our demons in our name? He's going to say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. I tied it in with this. Because the most high is all knowing. What do the most high not know? In other words, he was showing us, y'all ain't never been with me. Y'all love wickedness. That's why he said once again, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So my sister, you was born. You came through your mother's womb. Regardless of what your blood type is once again. See, the real blood type, or oh, 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 come on, teach Holy Spirit. The real blood type is, oh, the blood. Mm. That gives me strength. From day to day, it will never, ever lose its power. See, a lot of people sing that blood song and don't even have a clue on what the blood really is and how the blood have truly saved us. And if it wasn't for that blood, that blood is what paved the way for us. When I sang that song, I understand what it means. Because if it wasn't for that blood that Yahshua shed on that cross, I wouldn't be sitting there talking to you right now about salvation. We wouldn't even have a chance to inherit the kingdom. Oh, you know what the Most High had a plan. He sent the one that that lamb couldn't, that lamb, that animal couldn't do it for us, for all of us. He sent the ultimate sacrifice. The lamb that was slain, the true lamb, which was Christ. So the fallen angels know they wasn't born from the womb. And they know that they, they have no chance in heaven. That's why if you read the book of Enoch, the watchers was pleading with Enoch to go tell the father to forgive us for what, he, what we have done. It's too late. Because they messed with the creation that the creator created. Who teach Holy Spirit? Demons are everywhere. They 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 disguising themselves in all type of ways, y'all. That's why the Bible says Satan has blinded the minds of the unbelievers. That's why I did that video called "The Blood." Versus the demonic blood line. But if you don't agree with the serpent seed, you don't understand this. Me and my mama talked about super for condemnation today. And she said somebody she, she grew up with was pregnant with twins. One from one man and one from another. Just like I said, I know somebody the same way. I won't reveal their name on camera. Pregnant. Woman pregnant. Two baby daddies. Which means that woman had to sleep with them men pretty much in that same day. Maybe an hour or two later. I don't know. And she said inside the one she grew up with, one twin died. And one lived. And said that the mother had to carry the dead child all the way up to birth. Just so the alive one could live. See, back in the day, you talking about back in the day. They didn't have all the technology that they have right now. 
back in the day, they you, you know now you got all these 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 gadgets, man. They can tell you what's what, but back in the day they have all that. So for her to live, she had to carry for the other twin to live. She had to carry the dead twin. But my point is, things that you think is new under the sun is not. That's why I said, what really happened in the garden? The church won't teach you that. They're going to teach you about the biting of an apple. But when you break it down, it's always been the devil trying to corrupt the bloodline. That's why, once again, Cain was of Satan. Remember, the Bible says Satan is an angel of light. Remember, them angels can come in forms, different forms. You believe the fallen angels produce, but you don't believe the cherubim. Who was, cherubim means you are the highest ranking angel. That's what the devil was. So, y'all, that's my time. I hope and pray that this part two cleared up a lot of things. Don't make assumptions, y'all. Study. Do like Paul told Timothy. Study to show yourself approved. And if you don't understand something, hit me up. Email me. That's why y'all didn't email me a comment. I left you a comment saying, be on the lookout for this part two right here. I don't want you to be confused and lost. And I definitely don't want you to think you're missing heaven because of your DNA. Or we can say your bloodline, blood type, when you you didn't have no control over that. But while you are living and breathing, you got a choice to take, you got a choice to make. Will you choose the most high? Or will you choose the devil? That's my time. Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a wonderful, 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 blessed day. Shalom.